in Minnesota that is hungry. I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that says they don't have access to enough food to eat. Steve is referring to why he's not voting for a bill that would give free breakfast and lunch meals to students in Minnesota. For context, one in six students in Minnesota face food insecurity. Being hungry while in school makes it tough to learn, let alone do anything. Well, Steve's argument is because he's never met a hungry person, hunger doesn't exist. Well, I've never met Steve, so Steve doesn't exist? I really hope Steve has met people of color, otherwise his decisions at the Capitol might be really biased. I digress. Let's take Steve at his word. According to his website, he lives in Mazeppa, Minnesota, where the median household income is a little over 77K a year, and the demographic is 99.36% white. I say this because the poverty line for a household of three in Minnesota is around 25K a year, and 25% of black households in Minnesota in 2020 experienced food insecurity compared to 4% of white households in Minnesota. Surprise, hunger is linked to race. However, Steve's never met a hungry person, so perhaps he could pay a visit to the Plainview Elgin Food Shelf, which is 20 minutes away from him, where he could be more effective than voting down a bill against hunger, which is a very real problem, whether you believe it exists or not.